Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back to my UiPath tutorial series. In the previous video, you learned how to show form to users to take inputs. If you have not watched that video, I will recommend you to watch previous videos from the playlist. I will add the video link in the description. In this video, we will learn how to use UiPath forms to take input from users and write that input data into the Excel file. So let's get started. We are going to use this form. I'm thinking to add one more field here for email. So let's go to component advance. We have one email components. Let's add this here just below gender. In the display it has email. You can see the preview. It looks good. I think we can save that right. Save it. No need to change anything. Let's save it here. Go to main. Let's run that. So let's modify the form size so that it will fit here. Form size we can say height 500 and this one we can say 300. Okay. Now I will show you how to take input from users by using that forms. So for that you can see here in the show form we have arguments. If you click on that, so basically this is not required. We have name, age, gender and email. We can see four arguments here. This is coming from the, the form which we created. Each component has their field key as a property name. And this property name is assigned to that so form activity and there it will be considered as a argument so whenever you will type something in this text field that value will be stored in this name this property name and then this will be passed to that main workflow using so form activity right same way we have age field key we have property name age gender so if you'll take if you'll click male so based on this if you'll go to the field key this is gender but now you can see we have data we are taking based on this one there are three value male female and others and you can access it from here you can see label showing there male and then value is showing as a small letter small case male if you want to pass value same as the display name so you have to put it like male let me do it like this so male for female we'll take capital female others we can say uh, o capital and then like this is in the title case okay so we modified here now let's save that for email we have label is email and then field key is email right let's save it so these four property name these are passed to this one okay let's remove this it's not required now we took age as a number so it is passing as a system dot double if you want to change it to string you can do it i will take it just integer and here you can see it is saying direction is in it means if we'll pass some value from here that will be assigned to that form but here our requirement is to take input from form means we want to send the value out from that form we need to change the direction so we'll change from in to out now change this as well change this as well and this one now create one variable so I will say this should be stored in the name variable age should be stored in the age gender will be stored in the gender email is going to store in the email variable so we created four variables here and taking the value from here okay now I will show you first in the message box 
I will take here double quotes name space plus name plus vv new line plus double quotes I will say age plus variable so this is as an integer we can change this to the two string plus new line plus double quotes this time we have gender space again plus variable gender plus vv new line plus now this is email plus email okay now let's run this just to check that and then after that I will show you how to write this to the excel file let's run this workflow okay so let's pass here Nancy age 35 let's take female email ID Nancy at gmail.com okay now let's submit this once we'll click submit we are getting all this value in the message box right now the same value I want to pass to the Excel file I want to write to the Excel file now to add this value to the Excel file make sure you have Excel activities that package is installed so we have form and then Excel activity okay now we will take here build data table if you already have an Excel file with the headers you just need to read that Excel file and then append the data there or like write the data to that Excel file currently I'm going to build a data table first column is for name string allow null no click OK second column is for age this is integer allow null no I don't want plus this is gender string no email string not allow okay so we have four columns here now I want to pass it here so click OK let's create one data table variable control key DT underscore user details okay we need to take here add data row activity enter that data table name and then in the array row we need to pass curly braces open and close pass here name comma space age comma space gender comma space email now we are getting this error it says that cannot infer an element type because more than one type is possible specifying the type of the array might correct this error means we have array row and here we are passing integer and these are string so in one array we need to put it as a one type so what I can do I can put here dot to string here now let's save this now we'll be taking here write range workbook enter the workbook path so I'm just putting that file name so it will be stored in the project folder I will say user details dot excel sx seat name I want to create this as a users data table will pass this one right side we can choose this 
add headers. Now we are ready to run this. Save this, run this file. Let's enter this name. So it was Nancy, age 35, female nancy at gmail.com. Now let's submit this. Let's go to the project folder. This is the Excel file created. Let's open this. And you can see here, we have name, age, gender, email, all these data available here. You can also enhance this by appending the data to the existing rows, or you can apply the format to this Excel file. And that's how you can use UiPath forms to collect input from users and write the data to Excel file. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. See you in the next video.